my husband shaved my head out of jealousy. What are you doing? Stop it! You don't understand. I'm saving you. From whom? From other men. They all want you. Look had always been jealous. But when I became a famous TV host, he lost his job and his paranoia got out of hand. I thought we would be able to talk calmly in the morning, but suddenly I smelled something burning. I went out into the backyard of our house and froze in horror. Luke was burning all my things. What's wrong with you? Stop it! Your clothes are too revealing. My wife will not be a piece of meat for men. It was the last straw. If you can't accept my success, we are getting a divorce. You'll be sorry if you leave. I didn't pay much attention to Luke's words, but it was a big mistake. He kept haunting me even after the divorce. What do you want from me? You're a star and every man wants you. I won't let them take you away from me. Luke believed that he was truly saving our relationship. He followed me everywhere I went, and his madness started to scare me more and more. I went to the police, but they just shrugged their shoulders. No buddy, no crime. We can't arrest your ex just because he lives in the same city as you. I couldn't move because of my job, so I continued to live in constant fear. I started taking sleeping pills and sedatives to stop the constant nightmares. One day, Luke got tired of just watching me. He snuck into my house while I was away and removed all his stuff there. He waited for me to come home and fall into his trap. Hi, baby. I came back. I wanted to call the police, but he immediately took my phone away. What do you want from me? This is my home too. All my things are here. See? I live here to protect you. Look, he didn't look like himself anymore. His face had changed and his eyes were filled with madness. Any move I made could provoke him. Maybe you are right. I'm sorry. I can only be safe with you. I suggested the celebration of our reunion. I poured champagne into the glasses with trembling hands, then quietly tried to spike one of them with my sleeping pills. Come on, this is so faster. Honey, what's taking you so long? I handed Luke a glass and he drank it in one gulp. But Luke wasn't as stupid as I thought. He felt sleepy and suspected that it was my fault. Sleeping pills? It won't work on me. Luke tied me to the chair so I wouldn't run away. Now I have to punish you. Luckily, he didn't have time to do anything. I tried to break free, but the ropes were too tight. Suddenly, I noticed something that could save me. My phone had fallen out of Luke's pocket. I pulled it up with my foot and dialed 911. Luke was arrested and sent to a clinic. My ex-husband's jealousy was so strong that he managed to destroy his life forever. I fed my husband toxins so I wouldn't get pregnant with his baby. Howard wanted kids so much, just like any other man. He got himself a house, a business, and a beautiful wife. However, the test results kept getting worse and worse. I'm so sorry, honey. Maybe it's time for us to try something different. I offered my husband the chance to choose a man to become a donor. And you know what? Howard got excited about the idea. 
tall, athletic, with thick hair, not like mine. We ended up selecting three candidates and asked them to spend the weekend with us. We'll get to know each other better this way, so we can make a choice. Howard had no idea that I was already pregnant with the baby of one of these handsome guys. That night, we hosted a dinner for all the candidates. I noticed that my husband had a favorite, a boxer named Sam, which was predictable since Howard wasn't athletic. Will you teach my son all these boxing techniques? No, dear. That's wrong. You'll choose the one I tell you to. When it was time for the cocktails, I slipped blood thin and pills into Sam's glass, causing him to get drunk much faster. Three glasses later, he was barely able to stand. Hey, Howard, hit my abs. Don't be scared, Charlie. I got my way since Howard couldn't stand drunkards. If we needed a son from an alcoholic, we would choose your uncle from Texas as a donor. Howard immediately asked security to escort Sam out. Sorry, boxer. It's nothing personal. Later, when my husband fell asleep, I met with my personal pick. The man who drove me crazy. Once I was with him, I lost any awareness I had and didn't hear Howard come into the dining room. Christina? I woke up and you weren't there. Why are you doing? I told him I couldn't sleep because of a dilemma. We had two top candidates left. So I arranged an additional interview with one of them. I saw how upset you were when the boxer has dropped. But Max here has great muscles too. I touched them. Yes. Max's body was perfect. He was my fitness coach. But of course, my husband didn't know that. <laughs> you know, muscles are great, but I like the third candidate better. Sorry. It was okay. I had a plan for Max's competitor as well. I knew Howard hated thieves. Which was why I said I couldn't find my gold bracelet the next morning. Howard knew I took good care of my jewelry and that I wouldn't lose such an expensive item. We had strangers sleeping in our house. One of the potential donors could have stolen the bracelet. My husband immediately initiated a search. Security and servants stormed the candidates' rooms. And the housekeeper ended up finding my bracelet in the room where John was staying. She proceeded to call us after making the discovery. I'm sorry, John. You were almost like family to us. Our child can't have the genes of a thief. It's unacceptable. Leave. After that, there was only one candidate left. My Max. We won. Now, when I have the baby, it will look just like Max. And my husband won't suspect a thing. I casually signed the donor papers and rushed to hug Max. Wait a minute. Would you like to see what you've just signed? Howard told me that we were getting a divorce and that I had signed a waiver. Get your fitness coach and get out of here! I didn't understand what that loser figured everything out. As it turned out, looking at handsome men made him feel so bad that he went to my fitness club to work out. That's when he saw a photo of Max on the wall. I realized that you know each other for quite a long time, and this whole casting thing was just for show. Howard kicked me out of the house, and I lost access to his money. He managed to find a solution to his health issues and fulfilled his dream of becoming a father. As for Max, he left me once I became poor, 
and started dating other clients. Even the most skilled puppeteer can end up tangled while pulling the strings of a puppet.